Hello everyone and welcome back, I'm Lincoln and today we're going to go on a Nomad Sculpt and look at the new version of 1.8. We have Boolean operations now so let's go check it out. Alright so the first thing we'll come in here and we're just going to add a box and I'm just going to demonstrate real quick showing you how to use these. So we'll grab the gizmo and squeeze this down and I'm going to go ahead and turn the sphere off. We're going to add another thing and let's see it's at a cylinder coming to the three dots run the division up so it's a little smoother and for this one let's see let's grab the gizmo squeeze it down and i'm just going to make kind of an odd shape and that's that's all i want to do just to kind of show you how quick and easy this works all right so the new boolean is right here instead of the voxel remesh or the voxel merge so down here it's going to be grayed out because we have to have two things selected. So we're going to turn the cylinder off and I'm going to select the box. We're not going to worry about validating. As soon as we do the boolean it'll validate itself. Now we're good. And click on this. Now what you're going to notice is these edges are super clean and crisp. We always had an issue with that. With Even with Voxel Remesh we'd have to remesh it like 500 or better. And if you look at the wire, we still have a low mesh count, but it makes more mesh on the inside and around the corners. And part of, part of that inside is because we did that already with the cylinder. Okay, now to kind of take this one step further, let's cut this out of the spear. Let's see. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so we'll turn this out. And you can see too, we have a little bit different grayed out area now for objects that are invisible. So now if we do these two, we'll do another Boolean. And if we turn the wire off, you'll look and see, I mean, we have just razor sharp edges now. It's pretty amazing. And to look at something inside cut like that, I mean, that with even with voxel remesh, it never would have been that clean. Anyway, I hope this really helps you when you're sculpting. It's going to make things a lot easier. And you can still voxel remesh this if you like. So I'll do that real quick just so you can kind of see. So if we turn the wire on, if we come up into our remesh. And we're in voxel already. And let's go up to, you know, around 500 like we normally would. And remesh. And see how it looks. And it may have rounded it off a little bit. No, it's good. So... That's way easier and way faster than it was before. So you can get your rough shapes out, cut out a lot faster than you could before. Whatever, if these tips are helping you out, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. All right, thanks.